Global mean surface temperature is commonly used as a measure of global warming. The Met Office produced a temperature record spanning back over 150 years. This is determined from land-based weather stations and from sea surface temperature readings by ships and floats. Observations are only available for about 84% of the planet, shown here as colours representing the temperature trend over the past 16 years. The most significant regions of missing data are Antarctica, Africa and the Arctic. Different parts of the planet are warming, or in some cases cooling, at different rates. Another source of data is available for recent decades. Weather satellites measure air temperatures near the surface and cover almost the entire globe. The satellite record confirms that the Arctic is warming rapidly. Since the Met Office record omits this region, it underestimates the global temperature trend. How can we determine global surface temperatures from incomplete data? We compared three approaches. The first is to ignore the unobserved regions, which is the approach currently used by the Met Office. The second is to fill in the unobserved regions using temperatures from the nearest available observations, an approach used by NASA in their version of the temperature record. The third is to construct a hybrid record using the satellite data to fill in the missing regions. The most important part of our work was testing the skill of each of these approaches in reconstructing unobserved temperatures. To do this, we took the observed data and further reduced the coverage by setting aside some of the observations. We then reconstructed the global temperatures using each method in turn. Finally, we compared the reconstructed temperatures to the observed temperatures where they are available. The error in the reconstructed temperatures is a measure of the skill of the reconstruction method. Over a range of tests, both the infilled and hybrid methods each give better results than ignoring the missing regions. While infilling works well over the oceans, the hybrid method performs particularly well at restoring temperatures in the vicinity of the unobserved regions. What does this mean for the global temperature record? We used the hybrid satellite method to restore the missing regions in the Met Office data. Our results suggest that since 1997 the globe has been warming two and a half times faster than the Met Office figures. Trends starting in 1997 or 1998 are most misleading with respect to the global trend. Most of the bias comes from the rapidly warming Arctic, which is a problematic and rapidly changing environment. However, it is clear that the rate of global warming over the past 16 years has been significantly underestimated.